Hey guys, welcome to the FIFA 21 Rule Breakers Quadrado Player Review. So for this review, I used the stay back while attacking instructions as well as the balance instructions on Quadrado. I also tested Quadrado with the Sentinel and Anchor Chemistry styles. So for the first two games, I played Quadrado with the balance instructions and for me, he just kept constantly bombing forward to join my attack and left me defensively exposed. So I immediately switched it to the stay back while attacking instructions and for me, on those instructions, he performed optimally. So on the ball, Quadrado for me was amazing. He has the combination of high agility and dribbling statistics and feels fluid on the ball. Quadrado also has those 5-star skills and you can perform any trick in the book with him to bamboozle the opponent's defenders. He also feels rapid on the ball and using the combination of his great pace, his agility, dribbling and 5-star skills, this guy is a serious attacking threat. A combination of these three factors make him arguably the best attacking right back in the game. Now we've established that Quadrado is a phenomenal attacking fullback, but what does he bring defensively? So whenever Quadrado got into a tackling position and made the tackle, it was quite clean and his stand and slide tackle for me was seriously impressive because he was able to dispossess opponents with ease whenever the ball was within his wingspan. You can also use Quadrado to effectively press opponents using his high pace and decent aggression stats. Quadrado also had amazing passing from the back, so don't be hesitant to spread the play with him on either side of the pitch because he will do it phenomenally. Quadrado's crossing on attacking runs for me was also amazing and I highly recommend if you are in a crossing position with him, take the cross and he will not disappoint you. Quadrado overall did a good job defensively, but I wasn't too overly impressed with his defensive abilities, mainly due to his strength. More often than not, Quadrado used to get bullied by most attackers in this game and would leave him completely off balance when they got into a physical battle. In order for us to balance this con to some extent, I would recommend that we put a chemistry style that boosts Quadrado's strength like a backbone, an anchor or a sentinel chemistry style. Another small con in Quadrado's defensive abilities was his ability to make interceptions. Sometimes Quadrado just let a simple ball roll past him which really irritated me a couple of times and led to some deadly chances for my opponents. Apart from these two defensive cons, honestly I think Quadrado did a more than adequate job for me. So overall, Quadrado is an extremely versatile player because he has balanced statistics across the board. I'm pretty sure that Quadrado would be a super effective attacking right wing back as well as a decent right winger. So if you have the coins to check him out, please do because he is the most fun right back I have used this year without a shadow of a doubt. So I'm going to give Rule Breaker Quadrado an 8.4 on 10 because he's a seriously fun card and also a pretty effective card in game. I'm also going to give him a value for coins of an 8 on 10. Firstly, he is the best Serie A right back in this game without a shadow of a doubt. And if you want that hyperlink to Ronaldo, please do get this card. If you can get him at around 120 to 130k, that is superb value for this kind of card. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and have a great day.